Then again, we found out that fear, the energy of fear is in perfect resonance with the nervous system. Namely the brain, the nerves, beginning with the really thick nerves coming from the spinal cord, reaching to the to every little angle in the periphery, like like branches of a, of a tree. And then all the sensory cells, all the receptor cells at the periphery, like in the skin, but also of our main senses, like the cells in the nose, the retinal receptors in the eyes, the acoustic nerve. So fear is like on a, on a primary level, fear is about survival. It's like you have a physical body. Well, welcome to the realm for fear. It's connected with having a physical body because the body wants to live. And the fear is signal, wow, hang on, something might be in danger here. And the function of the nervous system is on one hand to receive as many informations as are available, heightened awareness of the moment to collect as much information as possible. And then also part of the nervous system is the reactivity that, that we can really react to those informations. And it makes a difference whether I'm in survival mode with this on the old map of fear, let's say, I'm not trusting the fear. I want to get away from the fear. Or if I'm on the new map and the fear can actually flow through. And it's turning on the nervous system. It's like electrical current. And the nervous system is being nourished by the fear energy in, in the flow of the system. And it can also be consciously used that's what we do at times uh, during feelings practitioner sessions to reanimate tissues that have been cut off from the flow of life, that have gone to sleep, let's say. So independent of the tissue of resonance, there's also this level of function and the fear, fear of, function of fear is aliveness and in terms of healing, reanimation. And the sorceress, the sorceress. How does and the sorceress, she... okay. The sorceress, please paint the picture, the full one. And how, how is the sorceress using all this aliveness, fear aliveness? So the archetype, the archetype, connected with the fear energy is the sorceress, is the wizard. So connected with this is the ability to stand in the void, to face the white paper, to enter a space with nothing in there. And it's, it's this openness of the nervous system when the fear is in its home territory in the physical home territory, which is the nervous system. It's like switching on all the, all the receptor cells. It's like bringing the sorceress into the physical body through the nervous system. It's like being on, switched on without doing anything. And this opens the perceptivity to what can come in. So it's the physical base of possibility. It's the physical base of creation. It's the physical base for intuition coming through. Ideas, insights, flashes of downloads, which actually need the void so they can manifest. And we have a physical base for that. This is really cool stuff that we have a, a body that goes with the magic and supports the magic.
So the, the, the energy of the fear, this being on, being on inside of the physical body, and this opening of perception of also receptivity has the has the, mm, the 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 power to go also beyond the physical body like opening and that makes the connection to information that come from the energetic like um sensing what's going on in a space reading scanning and of course, providing a space where downloads can come in. Downloads that don't have to be understood on the mental level, but are very tangible for the, the other bodies in their, in their interplay.